Hey guys, what's going on? Boomerton here, and welcome back to some commentary. <laughs> it's uh, again this, not again. Um, I've already done this commentary once, so if I say a couple of things again, then I don't actually mean that. Uh, but anyway, today's gameplay is uh, Total War Shogun 2 because I lo love this game, and I didn't want to do Battlefield because it's slightly pissed me off today, and it doesn't really tie into what I have to talk about. Um, in some cases it does, but not as much as Shogun does. But today's video has two topics really. The first one is, should we have exclusives? Um, as in console exclusives, PC exclusives, any type of exclusive. And the second one is, um, should we have DLCs? Because I'm personally not a massive fan of DLCs. Um, but I'll explain about the exclusives first of all. So the first thing about the exclusives is... I hate exclusives. Um, <laughs> I play this game here, um, Total War Shogun 2. I love this game. I love all the Total War games um, that I own, <laughs> at least. Um, but I'm actually getting um, Total War Rome 2 for Christmas. So if you want to see anything of that, please tell me at some point down in the comments in any future video or this current video here. Um, but you know, it's a PC exclusive, you can't get this game on console, and I genuinely feel sorry for people who can't get this game, because it is so good. I mean, it would be slightly difficult to play this on console, but you could, you could just about get by. I mean, they have games very similar to this on console, I'm pretty sure there was um, Halo something or other, which is one of the exclusives I'll talk about, where, you know, you, you did have a view like this over the battlefield, it wasn't as big battles, but you had a sort of view over the battlefield and you had to select stuff, I forgot what the game was called, I'm not a Halo player, I have an Xbox, so, um, but you know, I personally am a big fan of Uncharted, and I don't really feel sorry for people that don't have Uncharted, but I kind of think, why don't they make it available for all consoles, because then they could save so much money. Um, not save. They can make so much money because um, you're selling one game that's really good to two consoles. Um, the game that did do that was Metal Gear Solid. Yes, it sort of left a bad tint um, or sort of bad impression on the game because it used to be um, PlayStation exclusive and then became PlayStation and Xbox. So it was sort of like a betrayal that some fans saw it as. Uh, personally, I wouldn't really say so. It's just business, really. It's just good business. Um, tell me where that quote is from. I know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you know, you could pay, make a lot of money. Yes, it would cost more to make the game. Um, you just make it for two different consoles, but it wouldn't really be that much. Um, all you have to do is move it over. Um, it takes obviously a bit more time because it is both consoles. But you could just about do it. Um, so I don't know why they do that. And they should do it for Halo as well. The second thing, like I said before, is about expansions or DLCs. Um, I like DLCs, first of all. Second of all, I hate them. That quote, that sort of thing, might confuse you. What I mean by I love them is I love the fact that after the game is released, they give you more stuff to play the game to make it more entertaining. But I hate the fact that you have to pay for them the way they're done. One game I don't really play that often, but I love for how it's done is Team Fortress 2. You don't have to pay for anything in that game. When the game first came out, it was paid for, um, as in you have to pay for it, but ever since it came out, you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, you get guns for free. All expansion packs come out for free. You know, you don't make as much money, but it's free. You make enough money in the game, and then you don't need that, or even have one big franchise, and then have stuff that's free. Um, Planet Side 2, really good game. It is sort of play pay to win side 2, but it's a free to play, you know? You can get far enough and have those weapons. That is such a good game, and Team Fortress 2 is such a good game as well. You can actually buy stuff for T um, Team Fortress 2, although personally I wouldn't advise it because you could just unlock the stuff later on. But you know, free to play games are great, I think everyone understands <laughs> that. And free expansions are great, so why don't they do it? And games that come out on all consoles are great, because then you get a choice between one instead of going, I'm not a fan of my Xbox One, I don't know what to get it for. I'm not sure, you know, say I'm talking about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag now. Um, you might be there and you go, I got a PS4 and I got an Xbox One. Should I get it for my PS4 or my Xbox One or my PC? Personally, I'd say PC, but it's a difficult choice because... You might prefer any of them. But anyway, thanks guys. We want to know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. 